Welcome to Comet Computer Private Limited, e-learning program of hardware and networking. So we are going to see about the printer troubleshooting. We have already covered uh, about uh, printer installation, configuration, and uh, uh, different types of printers available. Uh, dot matrix, inject, laser printers. We have seen the advantage, disadvantage about the individual printer, the benefits of individual printers. Now we have to see uh, how to troubleshoot uh, common issues uh, arising in the uh, printers, uh, both from the operating system side as well as from the uh, printer side. So we'll move on to the topic. So here, uh, general trouble troubleshooting steps is provided uh, considering the uh, Windows 10, uh, but this is very common for all the operating system. Most of the current operating system uh, computers are having Windows 10, so we mentioned as Windows 10, but uh, the steps, whatever we are going to discuss, it will be common for uh, all the operating systems. So, um, uh, first troubleshooting is you are not able to uh, get the printout uh, from the printer. So, what is the issue? So you don't know what is the uh, issue with the printer. So, the printer is hanged or it is not responding, the light is not uh, um, uh, glowing properly. So all these things are there so what you can do a basic layman check a layman step is first unplug the printer from the system uh, you are going to stop the communication between the computer and the printer and then you restart the printer by powering off and powering on not from the printer uh, you can choose the uh, plug point so powering off and powering on so what happens here is suppose if the printer is hanged memory is full or uh, data is collapsed it, uh, inside the printer so the printer doesn't know what to do next so it is in a hang position so this will clear the memory uh, print jobs uh, system will be free and uh, it will load it as from the beginning so somehow, somehow we can stop all these problems in the printer by restarting the printer restart in the sense you should not use the switch available in the printer you have to choose the uh, plug point uh, power off and power on because the printer switch is a soft power off one, so better to go for a plug point option. And second is, if you are not getting the printouts, you can check the physical cable which is connected from your uh, uh, computer to the printer. So earlier days we used um, uh, LPT cables, now we have only USB cables. So probably we can check the USB cables physically whether it any problem or replace the cable uh, and check whether you are able to take the printout. And also, USB ports uh, which you are connecting the printer so sometimes um, the existing printer port it is not working so you can replace the port you have you will have minimum four ports in the desktop or laptop you can use the other ports um, available or if you have a faster USB ports version 2 or 3 the latest one uh, you can use that port for connecting the printout um, then wireless connections in case of um, wireless connections we have to see both the sides right uh, in the printer we have to see if at all you have a led panel you can find out um, whether the printer has received the same ip what we have in the laptop or desktop one side the other side you have to log into the router console wireless router console and see whether the printer has received the same ip so if if it is matching and you are in the same network then you can try pinging from the command prompt and see whether the uh, printer is reachable via wireless connection so most of the places we go for wireless printer because to avoid the uh, cabling part and um, uh, to have a, a physical distance restriction we want to break it so we are using the wireless connection so you, you can sit anywhere in the office or in the uh, home and the printer will be kept in the corner side uh, connected via wireless so you can reach the printer through wireless connection right so that is making use of your uh, cabling part so this kind of troubleshooting you can check and find out whether uh, the job is reaching the printer or not and sometimes you have to uninstall and reinstall the printer software and uh, sometimes it asks for uh, latest upgrade so we can upgrade the firmware and see whether we are able to take a printout so operating system side uh, you'll have a latest patches or latest drivers from the manufacturer website you can also upgrade that one run the print troubleshooter from the print menu in Windows 10 operating system, there is an option to run the uh, troubleshooter and choose the printer and uh, do the troubleshooting from the operating system side. Clear and reset the print folder from print menu. So you have a printer control panel, open the specific printer. 
you can clear the spooler because spooler is nothing but um, a place where the data is stored temporarily uh, by the printer and it will be cleared once the print job is done suppose if it is not cleared it is getting jammed the printer spooler will be full and um, it will it will be maximum utilized so it will not accept the new jobs so it will be in a hang position for that we can clear the spooler and check then uh, fix printer problems after updating windows 10 so once you update the operating system try to run the troubleshooter and find out whether you are able to fix the problem change the printer status to online so sometimes the printer goes offline you can just see in the printer control panel a specific printer will be in a light gray color uh, not in the enabled uh, right so it is a light gray shaded one so you can right click on the printer and bring the printer online then check for taking a printout so if there is any error code from the printer so sometimes the printer uh, led panel will uh, display the error code you can check the vendor website uh, epson website or canon website uh, to find out the reason for the error code if it is uh, solvable by yourself you can solve it or otherwise you have to take it to the uh, vendor uh, service center so that they can fix the issues so we'll try maximum from our side uh, so that we can fix the issues uh, by our own if nothing goes uh, with the printer so what is that we can do is take the printer to the service center and do the service so especially i prefer uh, once you get expert in the uh, troubleshooting only for hardware related issues probably you have to go for uh, reaching the service center service so everything we can fix it over the uh, a software troubleshooting itself so troubleshooting using print troubleshooter in windows 10 so in the windows 10 operating system you have to go to uh, cortana and type the troubleshoot option you'll get the troubleshooting link from there you can uh, choose the printer printer control and then you can choose the list of printer uh, and run it as administrator so that it will not restrict you with the permission uh, then you can follow the instructions given by the operating system so that you can do the uh, troubleshooting from the operating system so if you just check the video so whatever we have discussed right so you open a troubleshooting settings and um, open the printer then you go for run troubleshooter so it will be checking the number of printers connected or what are the printers available in your system then based on the type of printer you just choose the printer available i'm just choosing ms publisher for my reference and click on next it is running the troubleshooter from the operating system level trying to fix the issues so it says i have the solution so apply the fix yes so i'm applying the fix cancel all jobs in the print queue yes for applying the fix yeah it has to cancel all the jobs so i'm saying okay for canceling the job and skipping now after doing all these things i'm just going for further steps for skipping the uh, current one so with that uh, the troubleshooting is completed and uh, what are the things it has done is so minimum uh, minimum settings it has done and uh, it is saying that the troubleshooting is completed so after that we can restart the system and find out whether uh, the printer is able to print out So let us move on to laser printing troubleshooting. So we have seen from the operating system side now um, laser printer, what are the things we can do a troubleshooting. One is the print quality problem, which is the normally uh, erased uh, in all the printers. Uh, after some time, right, um, you are not able to get the quality output uh, from the um, uh, laser printer, maybe after a few years. So the first one is sharp white lines. You are getting a uh, sharp white lines in the printout. It means that um, it is printing character by character. I mean, it is printing as a page. What was displayed in the screen, it is printing. So if at all you are getting one straight line or um, any specific lines that is cutting the characters, it means there is a uh, problem in your uh, uh, printer, laser printer, developer unit. So when the development uh, happens, uh, what happens here is you have a, a doctor blades. It is immediately above the uh, uh, developer unit. So if there is a excess stone, the purpose of this doctor blade is if there is a excess stoner, it will be removing uh, from the uh, uh, printer. So this doctor blades will be removing the excess stoners from the uh, roller. But uh, sometimes the toner particle is stuck, damp toner, it means damaged toner. It is getting uh, stuck in the uh, toner uh, blade. 
the norm uh, doctor blades right so the particular line will be uh, removed from the printout so you'll see one straight line so for this you have to remove the developer roller and find out whether it is clean or anything stuck so that you can um, uh, uh, be free from the particular issue so this is for sharp white lines the other one is fuzzy print in case of this fuzzy print um, the letters or graphics um, are not sharp when the printer prints a printout when you see you no know, normally it will be sharp right based on the font you are choosing it will be very sharp in the edges and all or uh, the curves and all very sharp but if you are seeing that um, uh, that is not clear or uh, it is very bent or it is not proper the printouts so it may be because of the uh, paper not because of the printer because um, if you keep the paper outside right uh, keep it outside uh, in the open environment so it is absorbing the wet from the air uh, and uh, the paper becomes uh, somewhat wet so it is not dry as such so when you, when it prints right so uh, the the wetness is making the toner toner powder or ink, inkjet right i mean this is for laser printer so toner powder uh, it is not printing as sharp like that so you you will not see the sharpness in the printout maybe if you are taking a small text print you, you cannot find it easily but if you are taking a bit character big characters so you can easily find out so this is not because of the printer this is because of the paper so what you can do uh, always try to keep the paper inside the bundle itself uh, closed to cover so that uh, it is not getting wet suppose you have a ac room and you keep the paper outside it normally it becomes wet so those papers if you use it you will not get a clear printout so try to avoid it um, otherwise you use the dry paper okay for taking any printouts variable print density across the page so um, you are seeing that um, it is not same across the other pages so say even if you are printing uh, text lines right 20 or 25 lines in a page uh, one side of the page is dark uh, after that one particular column of uh, characters are very light and again it is dark so this means that the toner um, dropping is not happening properly uniformly uh, maybe the toner is coming to uh, the end the toner is getting emptied or uh, toner particles is not uniformly spread inside the toner cartridge so what we can do uh, remove the toner cartridge you can easily remove from the printer laser printer and uh, just shake the uh, toner cartridge up and down for a few minutes and uh, again insert it to the uh, uh, printer and see whether you are able to uh, print it uniformly okay otherwise you have to go for replacing the toner cartridge because it is almost come to the end gray print so this is like a light black gray means light black um, it shows that um, it is not printing as dense uh, as what we have mentioned in the um, uh, mentioned in the printer settings so it is because of the photoreceptor problem sometimes no um, in the printer control panel we would have chosen gray print to reduce the, or to save the toner normally what we do uh, for taking a draft printouts right not the final printout to take a draft printer and see whether the printout is coming properly or not uh, instead of taking a bond paper or agreement paper we will take it in the normal a4 paper so to safeguard or to reduce the usage of toner we used to set the gray option so it means that uh, half the powder will be used for taking the printout uh, than the normal printout so uh, you can read the content you can correct it uh, then you can check whether the alignments and other corners are correct once everything is fine then you can go for taking a printout in the bond paper or in the bond bond sheets right different type of paper so that will be useful for correcting the printouts in the physical manner maybe that setting is set permanently and you have forgotten to remove it because of that you are getting a gray print that you can go to a printer driver control panel and remove the option for taking a final printout otherwise no the photoreceptor is not observing the um, um, toner properly and the density is not equal so because of that you are um, getting this kind of problem so what you can do is um, to overcome this problem you have to increase the print density right um, in the printer control option you'll have an option to increase the density uh, until the photoreceptor is getting uh, the issue fixed permanently you can have this setting so otherwise you have to replace the particular component 
you are getting a black pages next there is uh, black pages um, so normally what happens is that uh, the charger the cortana charges is broken or not properly connected so because of that uh, the charging is not happening properly and um, uh, in the OPC drum you have minus 600 volt charges and the uh, after um, after the laser beam uh, reflects you are going to get uh, the character printer on the OPC drum then uh, you are going to get this particular printout in the paper the image is getting transferred so now the charger is not working properly what happens the OPC drum is not getting charged so whatever powder uh, it is falling the entire powder is falling onto the um, paper itself and it is coming out of the fuses unit you can see the entire page is black okay so this is because the um, uh, charger function is not proper you'll have to ensure that um, the charger is uh, repaired charger unit alone is repaired or you'll have to change the um, hardware part of it so that you can uh, get remove of this uh, uh, blank uh, black black pages output and now it is white pages i'm getting complete white pages what to do so this is also because of the same uh, coroton uh, problem the charging unit is uh, not doing the work properly so uh, it is not getting charged properly so you are not getting the toner powder uh, uh, getting pasted into the paper so any printout it is um, uh, coming as a white this is one issue out of the box if the toner is completely empty so you will get all the sound as such uh, uh, it is printing uh, the pages and everything right but the final output you will get a white paper okay so this has to be verified uh, normally we get an um, alert message from the um, printer software uh, whatever software we install right for a uh, samsung hp we install the software for the printer so that software has the capability to mention whether the toner is empty or not suppose we forgotten to uh, see that message or we ignored it and uh, then um, after all this uh, proper functions you are getting a white output so probably you have to check the toner one um, you have to check the uh, charging unit for the proper functioning and second is toner level so you can just remove the toner shake the toner and just insert it again and try to see the printout while shaking itself you can find out uh, or hear it uh, whether you have a toner powder or not you can feel that difference uh, if you are sure you have a toner powder then you insert it again and uh, try to take a printout it should come otherwise you'll have to check the charger unit next is the regularly spaced spots so uh, when you are when you are seeing the spots in the paper printout whatever printer you take from the printer you are um, uh, seeing the spot um, here and there uh, you are seeing the uh, dots or some kind of scratches in the uh, printout so uh, in this case now you'll have to see the photo receptor the drum whether the drum has any scratches or any hole or small dent because of which uh, the powder is uh, um, settled in the uh, empty space and uh, each and every print you are getting that particular um, dot or lines after uh, uh, after regular intervals in the printout so this is because of the photoreceptor drum um, probably you have to change the drum and uh, ensure that um, no hard surface is uh, entered for taking printouts that is uh, creating a damage of the uh, drum random spots so earlier one is the regular uh, spots at the regular interval this is the random spot so this is caused by the dirt or uh, dirt and split excess toner in the printer mechanism so there is a excess toner available normally while cleaning the operation so the excess toner is getting removed but in case this is not getting removed the blade is uh, weren't uh, toned out um, it is not um, uh, sharper uh, so it is not cleaning properly so some part of toner will get settled settled in the uh, toner cartridge itself so the cleaning is not complete right so you are getting a random spots in the output you are getting a residual image it is because of um, your photoreceptor only um, normally you get uh, a code image like uh, the previous image is getting printed in the current page it is called echo um, so dual image in the single printout because of the photoreceptor is not working and the cleaning is not happening properly you are getting the previous image in the current page so you have to replace the photoreceptor and cleaning blade together okay toner rubs off if the toner can be removed from the paper by gently rubbing or brushing 
uh, it has not been properly fused so you have to go for checking the fuser unit so you, you can if it is possible you can um, check the fuser unit otherwise you have to take it to the uh, service center so but this is because of the fuser unit issue maybe the fuser lamp is not working or um, it is not giving the correct temperature that is the reason now mechanical problems so because of wear and tear or because of the rollers damage these kind of problems occurs but the paper uh, jams or paper is getting stuck paper is uh, damaged so these are the normal mechanical problems we get uh, the first one is uh, misfeed so i keep the papers in a tray paper tray um, then the paper pick up roller should pick up my paper and roll it to the um, uh, printer inside but this is not happening right misfeeds it is uh, going in a wrong direction or uh, paper is not getting feeder properly so uh, we'll have to check whether the paper quality is correct there is something called gsm just to ensure the printer paper is a high quality one so if at all we in inserted a thin paper right butter sheets like that or any other thin papers like color papers or anything no um, it will not be able to accept that through the feeder because the thickness thickness is not that much right so it cannot um, feed into the printer normally so that is the first problem so we'll have to check the source of the material uh, whether it is good or not then the second one is whether the paper pickup roller is working properly or not otherwise no it is failing to pick up the paper from the paper tray because of the sensor issue or um, papers are uh, um, bulged arranged uh, as a bulge right so it is not able to pay, take a paper so what uh, what else we can do is remove the paper from the paper tray and just free it up right uh, because you uh, put the paper from the paper bundle maybe two three papers stuck together so you just uh, um, remove the paper and free up the papers ensure that uh, it is not uh, sticking with each other then you can keep the papers in the paper tray and try see whether um, uh, it is picking up the paper right otherwise um, we'll have to uh, see whether paper pickup area is having some problem mechanical check paper jams so normally paper jams occurs because of um, something get uh, caught inside the paper pickup area uh, if, if there is any damaged uh, part any a small uh, pin or anything got stuck so uh, the paper get uh, jams right um, or otherwise the mechanism paper printing mechanism has a problem so the paper is getting jammed sometimes the paper will go uh, in a cross way because the paper pickup roller uh, one side is damaged or weared out one side is working fine so um, the pickup position will not be uniform so it has to go straight right otherwise it will go as a diagonal one um, so uh, the paper getting stuck inside the printer and paper jam happens you'll have to open the printer and remove the paper uh, slowly otherwise no if there is a uh, damaged paper inside stuck uh, then other papers which is going inside will also get stuck so you'll have to try removing the papers completely from the uh, uh, printer uh, inside and then the skewed prints so skewed prints means the corners are not uh, properly aligned the image is skewed this is because of incorrect paper loading or paper tray installation so the paper is not getting um, uh, loaded properly so skewed means one side small one side is big so it is coming as a cross print okay so what you can do um, instead of dumping multiple papers keep one paper try to do a manual feeding and see whether you are able to feed the paper properly so we can check the paper feed sensor and uh, the arrangements inside the uh, paper feed area so that we can fix the issues this is again a mechanical problem crease the page sometimes papers creases in the printer this is because of the damp paper it means we have seen already the paper is wet or uh, it is not strong enough dry uh, and it is not accepting the uh, uh, printer properly the toner is getting uh, wet so we have to directly go and change the paper so otherwise no the printout will not be proper then uh, the third one is image corruption so what happens to the original image i am just giving one image for printout one file for printout but uh, the output is not coming properly so what are the different types of errors we get in the image one is uh, garbled uh, data rubbish data so if the data is garbled rubbish meaningless strings of text appear on the page so 
it is not in a readable format you get dollar sign hand sign whatever uh, special signatures are available it is being printed as a printout number of lines so there may be a communication error between a printer uh, and a, a computer the voice is not communicating properly uh, we can try uninstalling the printer and reinstall the printer and ensure the firmware is um, uh, um, updated and um, uh, cable connection is proper it is properly plugged in or uh, change the usb port if required and check the uh, current status online status and then try firing the printout last character so if the characters are occasionally missing from the text there is a probably a communication error so it keep on printing the text sometimes the skip they skip printing the particular character it means the communication is not happening so it is skipping the particular portion of the uh, printout so we'll have to check the communication and uh, whether uh, the usb port is um, uh, reading the content properly or not try changing the usb port or try changing uh, testing with a different uh, laptop or the different uh, computer wrong font um, so this happens because of the software issue um, maybe the printer is not supporting the font we have provided and we'll have to find out from the manufacturer side take a default printout test printout from the printer and see uh, what our font you have given for printout is supported by the uh, manufacturer if not no we'll have to change the font in the uh, source document and uh, give a printout you can just compare it after taking a printout mostly the operating system uh, is updating the latest firmware for its own uh, update as well as uh, manufacturers also providing the uh, service pack for uh, the printers firmware right with all these updates so both the things will have to update together so that they are matching equally otherwise no these kind of errors will come so now for the uh, correction purpose uh, the printer side uh, the font is not supporting whereas the operating system supports only thing is you have to upgrade the uh, firmware of the printer otherwise uh, you'll have to change the font in the document which is supported uh, by the printer so that you can take a printout properly that is because of the wrong font split graphic image so the graphic image is having a split it is not coming as a, a single page or uh, uh, properly right uh, so it is getting splitted into two or multiple things so this is because of the memory issue so uh, it is uh, capturing the data right a spooler service spooler service or the memory inside the printer so it is not capturing the image properly and uh, half the image is captured it is printing then after some time the rest of the image is getting captured then it is printing in the bottom so the image is getting split to multiple pages or uh, the continuity is lost so what we have to do first thing you switch off the printer and switch it on so that you can clear the memory space and uh, remove the unwanted things um, then you fire it again and check whether you are getting the same issue or not uh, restart the spooler service in the print uh, i mean uh, service panel service control panel uh, then check for the uh, printouts still it is uh, having issue try to change the memory module in the uh, printer right uh, you have to increase the memory or change the memory so that you get rid of that uh, memory related issues next is a split text the text is split to over two pages there is probably a configuration error in the software application sending the text so you'll have to go for uh, changing the uh, uh, driver file or upgrade uh, uh, the driver with the latest um, uh, software so that way we can say uh, the driver is latest and avoid the uh, split text problem then coming on to inject printer uh, uh, troubleshooting so now we have seen some of the problems uh, mechanical problems or operating system related problems in uh, uh, laser printer and now is for the inject printer right uh, the printer prints garbage the printer is not printing what was on the screen so this is because of the print driver problem so just now we have seen right font support is not there or driver support is not there so that's the reason you are getting a garbage printout it is not in the understanding format so we will have to see the manufacturer's website for latest driver if yes update the firmware uh, and restart the printer it should work uh, otherwise in the operating system update the driver and see okay uh, whether you are getting the new font or not no response from printer computer gives error message when trying to print so uh, this is because of the communication issue so between the computer and uh, uh, computer and um, printer the combination is not happening before going for that we need to do a layman check right because 
anything you have uh, first ensure that you are doing a layman check first thing is you have to check whether the um, printer is powered on basic thing okay without powering on the printer if you fire a job then it will not print okay first thing second thing is um, you'll have to ensure that uh, the printer is uh, connected properly the cable connection whether uh, the cable connection is proper and uh, the printer is already powered on so you need not verify that so cables are properly connected otherwise you change the port from one port to other port maybe the port is having stuck uh, uh, problem some problem so you change the port and see whether you are able to uh, take a printout uh, sometimes right um, you have installed two three printers you are using one office laptop so in office you have one printer or uh, in home you have other printer so you installed both in your laptop so your home printer may be uh, marked as a default printer so if at all you fire any job that home the home printer will be getting the job from the laptop but you are in office right so what you have to do if you go for a default option it will be fired into the different printer whereas you have connected to the uh, different printer so what you have to do while uh, sending the print jobs you have to choose the right printer right uh, based on the current situation choose the right printer then you fire the printout so these are all the layman checks what you have to do uh, while doing the uh, printer troubleshooting so may, maybe people may not know whether they are uh, doing this kind of mistakes the printer is not printing completely across the page horizontally content is missing on the right half of the page so this uh, is kind of a mechanical problem so we'll have to open the printer and see whether the print head is moving uh, end to end right because um, the inject printer the print head will make a movement from left to right and uh, start printing the character or graphics anything it is now uh, what we are seeing is one portion maybe first 10 columns are for first 10 centimeters the printout is not coming whereas it is printing for the balance of the paper in a a4 paper right so it means that something is stuck in, right uh, in the uh, uh, roller because of which the printer is printer head is not moving to the end okay so we'll have to open the cover and see there is no obstacles available and uh, uh, printer head is moving from um, left to right completely okay that is going to be the problem the printer prints out blank pages directly we can say the ink, the ink cartridge ink is not available okay just take remove the um, remove the uh, cartridge ink cartridge and just shake it uh, if you have a liquid available you will find out otherwise you, you can easily say the ink is empty so we have to refill or change the uh, print head okay along with the cartridge and uh, you'll have to see again uh, if the, the, there is a ink available in the cartridge then we'll have to see whether the proper communication driver is updated okay otherwise um, we'll have to go for reinstalling the printout but first of all we have to say uh, we have to see whether the uh, cartridge is full and it is not empty okay then that should solve the problem the text printed by the printer was wrong uh, print attributes bold text was not printed as bold so bold is not coming as a bold it means the communication problem maybe the font or driver is not installed properly so you'll have to check for the font availability for the printer and for the operating system and then you have to check for the uh, latest firmware update so both the things has to be verified parts of characters are missing or characters are not printed in the uh, correct color so there is a problem right so in case of color printer um, the ink cartridge if the ink is um, uh, not available fully or minimum available or out of three color cartridges one is ha having very low level it means that um, it will not print so it will make the movements but uh, ink will not get sprayed physical movement is happening but uh, the ink since the ink is not available it will not get spray those areas will get uh, blank or uh, it will be in a different color okay so those characters those, those portions will get skipped so we are not going to stop the printer if the cartridge is empty right so that kind of forcible stop we are not doing so this is the result of that so sometimes you no know, think about having a condition that um, if your print cartridge is having 10 percentage then you will not be allowed to take a printout so that kind of criteria is not available for uh, end user printers
the printer prints faded text so this clearly shows the ink is not available the cartridge is empty uh, so we'll have to go for uh, refilling the cartridge or replacing the cartridge so that is the only solution it will work so if it is a fair printout or you can also uh, check by cleaning the print heads and see um, if the cartridge is empty you cannot do anything you have to refill it otherwise check for the uh, print head and uh, clean it with a, a cotton cloth and find out whether the problem is getting resolved printout is smeared the paper printout is um, proper printout is not coming from the printer maybe the paper is mismatched the, the paper setting is not uh, set properly because of that uh, you are getting a different kind of image so if at all you are using a high quality photo paper um, we'll have to go and change the uh, paper nature of paper right normally it is a a4 paper then um, uh, thin paper or uh, uh, photo quality paper so based on that we'll have to change the paper uh, quality also in the settings so that will solve this problem or use a, a standard gsm paper um, with the dry condition right uh, freshly uh, packed so that will solve this problem printer encounters paper jams often this is because of the paper pickup roller uh, issue the pickup is not happening or the roller is uh, weird not weird out so uh, the paper is not getting feared into the uh, uh, cartridge properly sometimes you know, there will be two rollers so one is damaged one is uh, working fine so the even if, with one roller if you are uh, inserting the paper taking the paper in so the paper will go in a cross manner and then the paper is getting jammed so we'll have to chain both the rollers together and ensure that it is picking up the paper in a, a common time so this uh, we have come to a conclusion of the uh, printer troubleshooting um, so we have discussed about a laser printer and uh, inject printer troubleshooting we have discussed uh, dot matrix already so this will cover only two topics so hope this is clear and you can use this kind of troubleshooting for your day-to-day uh, uh, -day problems Thank you very much.